What's up everybody? Uh, today I want to talk about my uh, Milwaukee bandsaw. Uh, there was a lot of questions. Uh, how'd you mount it on the wall? So I just want to go over that with you today. Prior to having this wall mount, I used to put the Milwaukee bandsaw into a vise and clamp it down. I installed a regular foot pedal on and off switch. So I'll take it apart and show you what it looks like. So what you're looking at is basically, this is the structure of it. Uh, it's made from a quarter inch thick plates and they are about two inches wide. This is the part that holds the handle. Um, this is the part that uh, you screw it into uh, the handle part of the Milwaukee bandsaw. So I'm gonna mount this on uh, the door of my shed and we'll go from there. So the way this uh, bandsaw attaches to the wall mount is that you gotta take off the handle, the plastic handle that's here and find a, uh, the screw that matches the threads. I don't know what it is, but uh, my coworker did all this for me. And what you do is you attach the handle part through this loop. Thread it opening with this and you tighten it. So once it's secured, it sits pretty tight to the wall. It has very slight movement, but when you're pushing on, you know, when you're cutting and going towards the blade, it is very secure. So you won't have any problems with that. What I like about this setup is that you could change the blade whenever it goes dull on you. It's very quick. All you do is release the lever and the blade comes out. When you're, when you're ready to put a new one on, just slide it back in. Lock it up and you're done. So let me take the table apart to show you what it looks like. So there used to be a piece here, original piece from uh, Milwaukee that sat here. That, that needs to come off. And basically what my coworker did, he milled out this piece. So when you flip it over, this portion right here, sits on this ledge and then you screw it in with three bolts now something that you should take into consideration is you'll have to adjust your bolts to different lengths so the longer piece goes in the back the mid-size screw goes in the middle and the shorty goes in the front The only drawback that I find with this setup is when you're cutting a shorter piece that is not wide enough, let's say you have to cut a little piece off of it. You see how this edge does not sit on this side of the table? The, the bandsaw, the blade will tend to force it in there, in that opening. What I do to avoid this problem is I'll place another piece of metal and then I could cut this piece any width I need. But having this opening here, it gives me a fast access to take the blade off and put it back on. Whereas if you had this opening to the back of the table, then you'd have to take the table off and change the blade, put the table back on. After that, all you need is a zip tie or some sort of wire to hold the button down. This way it'll be running constantly but keep in mind that whenever you plug it in the blade will start spinning just keep that in mind that's why I put a foot switch and I hit it it's on I hit it it's off now the alternative that I have seen to the this table is if you go to a channel called simple little life 
he has a, a bandsaw a video that he recently uploaded and he has a little lever on the bottom where he uh, opens something and latches and the whole table comes off and he doesn't have this front face cut it goes to the back so go go check out that video you'll find it helpful once again I'll take it off and show you what it looks like attached from the back side You can see how the table is attached over there. That's why it had to be milled out because of that little step there, right here. Here it is back to its original spot and I keep it outside. All I do is cover it with an old t-shirt. The Milwaukee bandsaw I bought at Home Depot for around $300. The foot pedal switch I bought at Harbor Freight. Uh, it was about 14 or 16 dollars something like that um, I hope I answer all of your question and one more tip for the knife makers that can't sell their knives way back when I made the M9 bayonet I couldn't sell it I couldn't find no buyer I tried hard told everybody about it but I, I just wasn't well known the only people that knew about me as a knife maker were my co-workers and friends and uh, so what I decided to do is I needed a wall mount and I had a co-worker uh, Joe by the way thank you Joe for building it it's awesome uh, I traded the M9 bayonet for the wall mount and I do not regret it uh, so if you have a hard time selling your knives maybe you look into trading find out a way that you could trade your knife for something that will be valuable to you to, to uh, increase the performance of your knife making or sell them a little bit cheaper. I know it hurts, but do what you can to get your name out there, all right? Take care. I'll see you soon with a different video. Bye.